tonight Keanu Reeves heads a brilliant cast in the action thriller Point Break, which airs at 10. 40 p.m. on BBC One. The 1991 flick follows novice FBI agent Johnny Utah, who along with his new partner Angelo Pappas, are tasked with hunting down four bank robbers, who carried out a raid wearing the mask of ex-US presidents. Following his instinct, Utah goes undercover with a group of surfers as he attempts to find out who is responsible for the raid. After its release, the film was described by the Daily Telegraph as a one that certainly qualified as a cult favorite. In its review, Rolling Stone said it was the greatest female gaze action movie ever, hailing it a wet western and praising the performances of Reeves, and fellow lead Patrick Swayze. The film was highly influential for Reeves' career, and helped him land other huge roles in his later years including in franchises such as The Matrix. But Reeves was not completely unknown. Two years before its release, his popularity soared after he and Alex Winter were the leads in the comedy villain Ted. The franchise spawned three films that Reeves and Winter starred in, including 1989's Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, which was hailed as a huge box office, and critical, success. Such was its popularity that it spawned two sequels in 1991 and 2020. Prior to the third installment, speculation was rife as to whether another film would be made, and Reeves was regularly questioned about it during interviews. This included in 2013, when MTV reporter Josh Horowitz was left humiliated after he got Reeves' character's name wrong, despite clearly being a massive fan of the films. Horowitz, who had spent the past eight years campaigning for a new Bill and Dead film, was talking to Reeves at the Toronto International Film Festival when he made the gaffe. He asked, is Bill's voice going to come back naturally? Is it hard to get back into the actual voice, the cadence of Bill? Reeves quickly snapped back, I play Ted, leaving Horowitz to reply quickly, oh my god. So frustrated with himself. Horowitz hilariously walked off camera, as Reeves continued to tease the journalist. Reeves continued, you just lost all of your cred, dude. That's right. That's what you should do right now because you just lost all of your Bill and Ted cred. When he returned, the pair did discuss the prospect of further Bill and Ted films, with Horowitz noting, Do you regret now mentioning to me casually one day on an Oscar red carpet that Bill and Ted 3 was going to happen? Because now, it follows you everywhere, it follows Alex everywhere. Maybe you should have done it in secret. Reeves replied, It's a long story. There's lots of subterfuge and conspiracy theories. There's a whole thing. I might have to do one of those independent press, conspiracy, other name kind of explaining why it hasn't happened yet, because it's pretty dark out there. While Bill and Ted remains a cult classic across the globe, Reeves once discussed how his upbringing had a huge influence on his career. Speaking to the Mail on Sunday in 2008, he recalled how his mother Patricia's English roots had a profound effect on him. He said, I haven't gone back to Hampshire, where his mother was born. My mother left home when she was very young, 14 or 15. But she is a very independent woman and passed that on. She gave me British manners, which side of the plate the fork goes on, but also the two fingers, he gives me the V sign. That was an attitude I inherited. I do feel English. I was raised on the two Ronnies, Monty Python. I always loved the irreverence. Point Break airs from 10. 40 p.m. on BBC One.